When you think of Torquay, you think of picture postcard scenery and picture postcard hotels. The English Riviera is famed for its warm hospitality, but in just over 48 hours' time, the drinks will have to be put on ice, as lockdown number two forces us all into winter hibernation. Obviously, it's incredibly distressing. We've been quite fortunate, we feel, in that we've been able to make decisions and we've been able to stockpile a little bit. But we know that there are others that are not so fortunate as we are and that now they've just fallen through the cracks already once. They've used up all the reserve they had. So it's very worrying for the industry as a whole, really. The current system of tiered restrictions, which applies across much of the country, already meant a huge loss of business for Ed and Kate. Saturday's announcement of a nationwide lockdown came as a strange sort of relief. At least we've got some sort of clarity now as to what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. The biggest concern is at what point this breaks and do we get a summer season next season or not. Down the road at the Royal Hotel, the list of rules on the blackboard is growing longer by the day. I've got staff that don't know quite what's happening. I've got contractors that don't know what's happening and I don't particularly know what's happening. Within 24 hours of announcing the lockdown, they were already saying that it might be even longer than four weeks. So it's just a lot of uncertainty at the moment, really. And of course, no customers through the door means nobody to drink the beer. So Andrew is preparing to pour away much of his stock. Some of it, sealed containers, good dates will be all right. There are open containers that will be wasted. Date-sensitive products like the real ales will have to be wasted. Uh, they, won't, they won't last the month. We've had a relatively strong year despite the earlier lockdown. We, same as many other people, have, have borrowed uh, and had grants from the government. Hopefully there'll be a little bit more support as well with this next one. We're not ready to, uh, to close the doors just yet. The Calderwood family from Cheltenham are on holiday down in Portreath they may be forced to cut their break short. We're just waiting to hear how long we can stay here until or if we have to leave before Thursday. We're just trying to enjoy our time here as much as we can and then we'll go back when we need to. We're lucky to have been able to get away at all, so we're grateful for that. It feels as if everyone is still trying to digest what the Prime Minister's announcement will mean for the region's hard-working businesses. The first things that was running through our heads was just kind of what are we going to do exactly? We're not too sure. It all depends on demand. Where, you know, after the first lockdown, we thankfully did have a good bit of demand, lots of holiday makers. Now we are starting to see the end of that. So we might try and do it open for takeaways, at least for maybe a few days, and just see how it goes. And from there, maybe close up completely. Honestly, we're still struggling to make up our minds.